from the News Channel 5 Network and Out and About newspaper. This is Out and About Today. Sponsored by the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. Hello, I'm Chuck Long and welcome to a special edition of Out and About Today, up close with Ty Herndon. Now the Grammy nominated Dove Award winning artist first hit the charts over two decades ago with his smash number one, What Mattered Most. Since then, numerous chart toppers and critical acclaim followed. In addition, Ty has become one of the nation's leading spokesmen for equality and LGBTQ rights. Before we converse with Ty, take a look at a recent favorite, That Kind of Night. Hey, it's a chase away the sun. That kind of night, and here's Ty Herndon in person. <laughs> you know, time just flies, man. It's, it that does. project came out a couple of years ago, and uh, it just seems like yesterday. And I was just looking at that, going, "Wow, you know, we, we're we're still doing some crazy fun stuff with that album, because that's how music is today. You right. know, we're doing a, a re-release of that kind of night with coffee house versions. That that kind of night, we're doing uh, a dance mix Excellent. of that and, and, a, and a few more. So there's just, uh, it's crazy how it just stays around. They, well, you know what it's like? It's like Will and Grace came on and then they brought it back. You know, Absolutely. We did that with Murphy Brown. So you just, you create Wouldn't something. Wouldn't that be a cool trend to bring back your hit albums? I mean, seriously. <laughs> well, I'm kind of, wait a minute, I'm kind of doing that. I'm okay, re-recording well, the hits right now. So, so you're following that. that. That works. I tell you. Well, I always look forward when we get to do a conversation with you and kind of catch up on a whole lot of information and topics. And we're going to sure. have fun, too. We're going to play some games with you later in the okay, show. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. But I wanted to ask you about, you know, starting off, you've had, once again, another busy, busy year. You're doing a lot of fun things. You're doing a lot of meaningful things, a lot of sure. important things. One of the things, looking back on the year, you sang at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Did. That just looks like the toughest crowd ever. What was that like? I don't know that my knees have ever knocked that much but i can tell you why they were knocking i mean we were we were actually there, there you are <laughs> we were you know yes we were there and that picture is so funny because uh on today's show and in, in cbs good morning news that picture came up with uh, with uh with the comedian Mich oh, uh, with, uh, yeah, michelle wolf uh -huh. michelle wolf and they had her name down there and it was like <laughs> Michelle and I are texting him. It's like, that's, uh, that's not me. <laughs> we that's, got it right, by the yeah, way. Yeah, you got it right. That's pretty funny. <laughs> it was really interesting. You know, there was 5,000 people in that room, and uh, people that you often think battle it out on, on Fox News and TV are hugging it out. Yeah. You know, which we're, Matthew and I were sitting there going, I'm not sure if this is showbiz or real life. <laughs> we're not sure. But I was a little nervous about that. It was, it was also uh, very honored to, uh, to sing with the, the Navy military. They did the national anthem. And, um, uh, I, you know, it, it was just crazy. There I was mean, just so, so much controversy right, around right. that in the room. And I'm not a guy that usually steps into that much controversy, mm -hmm. especially when it's a hornet's nest. Right. So, uh, but I was singing for my country. Well, and, and you sing it very well. Thank you. You had to get, get out there and do two acapella. I mean, you know. <laughs> I think back to my point you? about that, my knees were knocking so much because the military band kept playing and they kept talking, but I had one note and I kept doing it on my phone. Uh -huh. If, if I, it had to be that note because that, I jumped an octave up and an octave down and one note off, I'd have been, I'd have been messed up. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that just makes me nervous. So I kept going dang, 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 <laughs> dang, 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 dang. <laughs> oh. oh, we saw a picture. You're talking about Matthew. Matt, we saw you and your partner on the uh, the carpet there yes. so yeah. there, there you guys are you just you are two oh. very handsome men right there well thank you very much I, I especially think the one on the left is pretty cute so <laughs> <laughs> i think they both are that was that was actually a tough red carpet you know i got asked some pretty tough questions on that but what you are know, some I of the just, tough questions you get now you know for that event it was just a lot of political questions and for me i'm all about love and acceptance i'm i'm not about um you know starting a big controversy online about where we are today i realize where we are today and, and I support um, our country, number one, but we're in such a time of diversion that it really is hard to, uh, uh, to step into that arena and be um, in your face 
about something. So I think for me, my best answer was, you know, when I was asked, what would I say to Trump or what would I say to Kellyanne Conway? I just went back to what my grandmother would say is bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> it has a lot of different meanings, folks. Absolutely. <laughs> it kind of the does. Old, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. So just bless your heart. Yeah. yeah but, you know, I did get into some uh, uh, some conversations about LGBT rights and, and where we are today because, you know, there are still 30 states that um, that a married couple who have a great job can be fired. Right. Walk into work that day, you got married on the weekend and you're fired. Um, or walk into your apartment complex or, or, or wherever you live and find an eviction notice on your door simply because you were on the internet say, saying that you were LGBT, gay, lesbian, and you got married. Right. So you know that's, that's, that's a real big battle right now just for rights because um, I will step out for that in an instant. I do have boxing gloves. I just, I just kind of pick and choose when I put them on. Well, and, and that was one of the questions I had for you, too. I mean, you've been a role model. You're a spokesperson. I mean, it kind of comes with, with the gig, but I don't yeah. think people do it quite as eloquently as you Thank have you. done, and it's much appreciated. Thank you. Do you feel a little added pressure Sometimes having that role? Sometimes. I get invited to do a lot of things for HRC and, and GLAAD. Of course, I, I partner with GLAAD on a lot of things. And so I've had to find my voice just simply because I never went into this. I didn't come out to be an activist. I came out to be authentic in my blood and bones so that I could be happy. I mean, I was even willing to walk away from music at that time. I just I couldn't do it anymore because it just felt so um, heavy. Right. And luckily for me, and by the grace of God and a great industry that we're in that I will give props to is, is changing, it seems like, on a daily basis. I am, not only am I able to go out and speak about things that matter, I'm, I'm able to do music that matters. And also have a little fun while I'm at it. So I actually did have fun at the, at the Correspondence Dinner because I was, I, was like, um, I, I was like a little, little uneducated kid, pretty <laughs> much. As Matthew and I kept looking at each other going, wait a minute, why is Kelly and Conway hugging that guy, didn't she? They just did he just give her a black eye over here on the <laughs> like, So it was crazy. Yeah. Showbiz. I, I'll tell you, so many levels to it. it it's yes. like you go in expecting one thing and so many other things you deal with. But that's yes. just, I guess, part of the gig. Absolutely, yeah. man. You know, and I think uh, working with some of these great organizations, I've just I've learned to to find my footing and know where I'm gonna have a voice that matters. Yeah. We're gonna take a short break. A lot more to talk about, <laughs> a lot more fun and games as well. All right, a special edition of Out and About today continues a conversation with Ty Herndon. So we'll be right back. <laughs> 